Bethlehem means house of bread in Hebrew. The town was known for its grain fields running down these slopes. After the harvest, shepherds were welcome to bring their animals into these fields to eat the remaining grain and stubble. In return, the sheep and goats fertilized the fields for the next planting season. In first century Judea, being a shepherd was considered a lowly profession. These were the social outcasts. That's what makes this next account in the Gospels so special. News of Jesus' birth came at night to this field or one very near here. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The birth announcement of Jesus was not made in Jerusalem to King Herod or to the temple high priest. It was made to regular, hardworking shepherds, common men who were having the most amazing evening of their lives were the very first visitors, as was recorded in the Gospel of Luke. And so it was when the angels had gone away from them up into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass that the Lord has revealed to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. The person who would become the most influential person to ever walk on earth had the most incredible birth announcement ever with a heavenly angelic choir. But he arrived as a helpless baby in an animal feed box with common people and animals as his royal court, witnesses to his arrival. It is indeed an odd start to our story, but it's also one of the reasons why the gospel story is so fascinating. All of the mysteries and paradoxes and unexpected twists and turns, they're everywhere. 